Okay, here's, here's three more examples really quick on uh, using a generic rectangle to factor. So if I start with x squared plus x minus 6, my goal is to come up with two binomial factors together. So um, first term goes in the first box, last term goes in the last box, and my middle term is my product. So that's a 1x, remember, okay? Um, the product of x squared and negative 6 is negative 6x squared. Um, so now I need two numbers who I can multiply to get negative 6 and add to get 1. And that is going to be 3 and negative 2. And they are both x's, just like my sum. Doesn't matter where I put 3x and where I put negative 2, I'll end up with the same answer. So I'm looking at my top row only. Um, as far as the numbers go, there is no greatest common factor, but I do both have an x in both cases, so I can factor out an x. x times x is x squared, x times 3 is 3x, three and then in my bottom left, x times negative 2 is negative 2x squared, or sorry, is negative 2x. So final answer in factored form, x plus 3 times x minus 2. Number two, same thing. Uh, first term goes in the upper left box, last term, bottom right box. My middle term goes on the bottom of my diamond problem because that is the sum of the remaining boxes. Um, my product of the remaining boxes has to be negative 12x squared. So I'm looking for two numbers that I can multiply to get negative 12, add to get negative 4. They're different signs, and I'm thinking negative 6x and positive 2x. All right, doesn't matter where I put them. So I'm going to put negative 6x up top, 2x at the bottom, and now I'm ready to start factoring. Top row, greatest common factor is only x, and then it's x times x. And top right, x times negative 6 is negative 6x. Bottom left, I need x times 2. And I'm going to just double check. 2 times negative 6 is negative 12, so I'm good. So final answer for that one, x minus 6, x plus 2. Okay? Doesn't take a lot of time once you get the hang of it. Okay, this one's a little bit different because I have a 4 in front of my x squared. Same thing, though. My um, first term goes in the upper left. Last term, bottom right. My middle term is the sum. And the product is the product of 4x squared times 6, which happens to be 24x squared. So I need two numbers whose product is 24 and sum is 11. That happens to be 8x and 3x. Um, and so again, it doesn't matter where I put them. 8x I'll put up there, 3x at the bottom. Now my top row, um, the greatest common factor of the numbers is 4. And with my variables, they both have an x. So 4x times x is 4x squared. 4x times 2 is 8x. x times 3 is 3x. And 2 times 3 is 6. So I'm done. Final answer, x plus 2 times 4x plus 3. Okay. Now if you had them switched around, basically these would just be in a different order. And that doesn't matter because we're multiplying, so it doesn't matter the order that you have parentheses. And that's it.